will be Rhett Palmer, yours truly, in concert in Asagachi. Stay tuned, please. morning and welcome to the house of the Lord and if you come here for forgiveness for love for fellowship you come to the right place because that's what we're here for Lee has happened to bring along his equipment for this television show but we're not here to be on TV we're here to minister to you we came here to serve you I want you to know that and the Lord is here for you and he loves you and that's why we're here today amen and to praise the Lord together it's a beautiful day. Isn't this a great church that God has led this gentleman to have? This is terrific. We're going to go to Israel today, too. We have some slides of Israel, and I'll tell you all about that. But I thought first we should all go to, to the Lord in, in prayer together. Let's bow our heads together, okay? And ask the Lord to bless our meeting this morning. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And we ask, Father, for your presence and to send your angels, your ministering angels, we ask that peace would prevail over this meeting, that your love would prevail, that your people would be ministered to. We thank you, Father, for your love and your guidance. 
And now we pray as Jesus instructed the disciples to pray together. We pray, Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray, and I tell you this, there was a man who went to see his neighbor at midnight and asked him for a loaf of bread. But the man would not come down and give him a loaf of bread and said, come back in the morning and I'll give you a loaf of bread. But because of the inopportune, the man stayed there and said, I need a loaf of bread. Finally, the man came down and gave him a loaf of bread. And that's why in the Bible it doesn't say, seeking you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened. In the original Greek it says, keep on seeking, keep on knocking and the door shall be opened. So we ask you, Lord, for your presence this morning. And in the power of Jesus Christ, all authority has been given to him on earth and in heaven. We bind up any foul spirits. And we command those spirits to depart from this place in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world. And God has not given us the spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. Depart from here. And we call on the angels of God. And we praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, I've asked David to come and read from the Bible. He's going to read from the book of John and the, and the book of uh, John 3 and John 4. I'll have to raise the microphone for him. My name is Rhett Palmer, R-H-E-T-T, -T, and I'm from Troy, New York. And this is David Usher, who is my associate, and we travel together. And uh, here is David Usher. Glory to God, hallelujah. So good to be here and to praise the Lord together. We're reading from, this is the New King James Version, but whichever version you have is, is fine. We're reading from John chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. John 3, verses 1 through 8. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Now let us turn to John 4, chapter 4, the next chapter in the Gospel of John and read as Jesus meets a Samaritan woman and she meets her Messiah beginning with verse 1. Therefore when the Lord knew that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John though Jesus himself did not baptize but his disciples he left Judea and departed again to Galilee but he needed to go through Samaria so he came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied from his journey, sat thus by the well. It was about the sixth hour. 
a woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well, and drank from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst, nor come here to draw. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You have well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one whom you now have is not your husband, in that you spoke truly. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We, worship, we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. The woman said to Him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When He comes, He will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am He. Lord, we ask that you add a blessing to your word this morning. We thank you for your word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are spirit, that you are truth. We seek to worship you this morning, Lord, in spirit and truth. We thank you for your word in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Thank you, David. blessings we have this day, that we're here to breathe, that we have this church, that we have our lives. We're given this day a gift from the Lord, not yesterday, not tomorrow, just today alive now. Let us thank the Lord for the loved ones we do have here on earth and all our possessions and all our blessings. Thank you, Jesus.
habits, the praises of his people. And if we're truly thankful, salvation comes by the heart. We should thank the Lord with our hearts. Amen. So let's all praise the Lord in this song. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O God most high. To proclaim your love and faithfulness all the day and through the night. La la la. Sing this song, because when you confess, Jesus said, if you'll confess me before men, one day I'll confess you before my Father. And rejoice if you know the Lord. It's the greatest thing you could possibly know while being on this earth. All together. I confess Jesus, confess. You confess Jesus, that's it. We confess Jesus, he's our Lord. Jesus, you love Jesus, we love 
Jesus, he's our Lord, he's our Lord, he's our Lord, and he'll reign forevermore. The joy of the Lord is our strength, the joy of the Lord is Must sing for it. If you want joy, you must sing for it. If you want joy, you must sing for it. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Ah ha ha Now, I notice some of the guys out there, the girls will go, ah, ha, ha, and the kids will go, ah, ha, the guys are, that's not cool, but somebody might be watching. Well, the thing is, that pride is what keeps us from coming into fellowship with God. Well, I gotta hold on to me, but you ain't nothing but flesh. You're gonna die soon. And the only thing that's gonna be left is your spirit. We don't quite understand it, but that's what counts. And you want your spirit to be able to praise God. You know? Because that's all that's going to matter. No man's going to matter. I mean, men fall and men are weak and men are flesh. But if you have joy and you break down that pride, then you can have joy. That's why pride's the number one sin in the Bible, because it keeps people from coming to the Lord. You know? It's like a child that'll never admit it doesn't know something and it'll never ask its dad, how do you do it? And then if the father's prideful, then he'll say, wait, geez, what do I have, a stupid son you don't know? That's his pride. And pride destroys the family. Instead of saying, the son's saying, I don't know how to do this, dad. And the father says in love, well, either do I, but I'll help you. I'll try to help you do this. Well, let's all have the joy of the Lord together. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Ah ha 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 ha
for sure that Jesus is your Savior? Are you coming to church and sitting in a pew? Won't get you to heaven. Are you reading the Bible and quoting it? Won't get you to heaven. Jesus said ye must be born again in John 3.3 3, or you cannot enter the kingdom of God. If he came here today, would you be ready? Do you know for sure he's your Lord? By accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you will reign with the King forevermore. Jesus, he loves you more than anyone ever could here on earth, more than your mother, your father, your husband, your wife, or your children, are you living for him, who are you living for, child of burden, he knows when you're hurting, Yes, Jesus loves you. No, he'll never let you go. Oh, all you gotta do is reach out, reach out and take hold. Child of worry, always in a hurry. But Jesus promised his peace would fill your soul. All you gotta do is reach out, reach out and take hold. Be not deceived, he'll never leave your side. Be of good cheer. And wipe that tear from your eyes. Child, take his hand. Jesus understands. Let him lead you where his healing waters flow. Reach out and take hold. Be not deceived. He'd never leave your side. Be a good cheer. Wipe that tear from your eyes. Child, take his hand. Jesus understands. Let him lead you where his healing waters flow. All you gotta do is reach out, reach out and take hold. All you gotta do is reach out, reach out and take hold. Child of he knows when you're hurting. I want to be more like Jesus. Lord, help me be more like Jesus. I want to be more like Jesus. 
my prayer is they see more Jesus in me. Lord, I want to be more like Jesus. It's a dying world that responds to care. Help us to live your love by being there. May love's victory be present with me. Lord, I want to be more like Jesus. We ought to be more like Jesus. Lord, help us be more like Jesus. We got to be more like Jesus. My prayer is they see more Jesus in me. Lord, I want to be more like Jesus. Though we may prophesy or speak with tongues, we have nothing if we have no love. May love's victory be present in me. Lord, I want to be more like Jesus. All together, we got to be more like Jesus. I want to be more like Jesus. Lord, help us be more like Jesus. My prayer is they see more Jesus in me. Lord, I want to be more like Jesus. We ought to be Who's going to lend him a hand? The priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan man? Up walks the priest, steps to the other side, hasn't got the inclination, he just walks on by. There's a man broken and bleeding on the road to Jericho. Will the priest be his neighbor? No, I don't think so. Up walks the Levite. Now he knows the letter of the law, but he just keeps on walking. Pretending there's nothing he saw. There's a man broken, bleeding on the road to Jericho. Will the Levite be his neighbor? No, I don't think so. Not the holy priest, and not the Levite. Left the man bleeding. What good is the religion? Up walks a Samaritan man, common clothes and dirty hands. He leans down, puts the man on his mule, takes him to an inn and pays what's due. There's a man broken. Jericho, taken over by robbers, and left the land for his blood to flow. Who will be his neighbor? Who's gonna lend him a hand? The priest, the Levite, 
ignore the Samaritan man. Samaritan man. Common man. Common clothes and dirty hands. And Jesus said to the rich man, Go and do ye likewise. This is the good neighbor. Messiah, Messiah, when are you going to come? It was written that through the lineage of Abraham, Abraham was the first guy who said, Hey, God, I love you. I'll be your friend. Remember, a long time ago, man turned his back on God. And Abraham said, I want to be your friend. Well, of course, God sent him up on the hill and said, Present a sacrifice. Take your son, your only son, and present him as a sacrifice. Well, of course, Abraham believed somehow God would raise his son from the dead. So they're walking up the road, and, and, and his son says, Well, who's the sacrifice? Who's gonna, what's going to be the sacrifice? We don't have a lamb or a goat. And God said, and, and Abraham said, God will present himself a sacrifice. Well, do you know that he went to kill his son later on and an angel stopped his hand and said, look over in the thicket, there's a goat. That's where we get the term scapegoat from. There's a goat. Take that goat, kill that goat as a sacrifice to me. Do you know that 2,000 years later that Jesus was crucified on that exact same hill? God did present himself a sacrifice, didn't he? He sent his only son incarnate in flesh to die for our sins. But when Jesus came, he healed the sick. The blind could see and the lame could walk. But they did not recognize the time of the visitation. And Jesus wept over Jerusalem. Well, this song is called The Empty Tomb. That's great. I went to the tomb of Buddha. Occupied, and I went to the tomb of Confucius, and there he lies. When I went to the tomb of the one who claimed to be God's son, as I slowly stepped inside where he had laid crucified. to be God's son as I slowly stepped inside where he had laid crucified his God's holy son as I slowly stepped inside where he had laid crucified his tomb was not occupied he's alive Jesus he did Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Lift your voice and praise the Lord And when life isn't working I tell you for certain Lift your voice and praise the Lord When you praise your Father up above It releases His heavenly love Your praise will draw Him near There is wonder in all of His ways There is power in His gift of praise Lift your voice and praise the Lord Praise the Lord When friends are deserting I'll tell you for certain Lift your voice and praise the Lord When your heart is hurting And life is burdened Lift your voice and praise the Lord When you praise your Father up above It releases His heavenly love Your praise will draw Him near He inhabits the praises of His people There is wonder in all of His ways power in his gift of praise lift your voice and praise the lord praise the lord praise the That they'll find the way You gotta keep praying every day You see it in the churches His Spirit's growing strong We gotta keep praying We gotta hold on He's bringing them in by His power He's bringing them in by His glory He's bringing them in by His Spirit By unfolding His holy story It is Him who's bringing them in Wiping their slate, cleansing their sin He's bringing them in by His power He's bringing them in by His glory The harvested is ready, the workers they are few A lonely world searches for love that's true Shouted from the housetops, Jesus crucified Overcame the world, tell them He's alive For you will be held accountable for the 
people that don't make it into God's kingdom in this age. Remember that. You will be held accountable for the people that are not brought into the kingdom. clap to the Lord. Stand up and praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to you, everlasting one, King of glory. And Father, I pray that if there's anybody here right now, as every head is bowed, that you said, he who will reject me in front of men, I will one day reject in front of my Father. But if you will confess me before men, then one day I will confess you before my Father. Is there anybody in here who does not know Jesus as their personal Savior? This is the day of salvation. It is appointed once to men to die and then judgment. There is no other chance. I'm going to ask you just to every head to be bowed, please, to afford privacy and for anybody to swallow their pride and to say, Jesus, you're more important than my wife or my child or my friend or my buddy sitting next to me. They're not going to be with you one moment after you died. If you died right now, Silence, you and God and God alone. Do you know Jesus? Are you born again? Because Jesus said, make sure you're born again. I prayed a couple of times with a man on TV and I was not born again. It wasn't one day until I got up and I vehemently called on God. I said, I do want you. I will live for you. I love you. Come into my heart. No more playing church. No more playing TV shows. No more playing full gospel. Do you know Jesus? Will you live for Jesus? Raise your hand right now. I see that hand. And I see that hand and that hand. And the Lord sees those hands. Praise the Lord. Is there anyone else? You can lower your hands now. Let us all pray together right now. Lord Jesus, I turn from my way. All of us together. Lord Jesus. I turn from my way, and I turn to you. I love you. Father, you gave me life. I thank you for life. I thank you for everybody I've ever met. I thank you for life. Father, you sent Jesus to pay for my mistakes, because we all make mistakes. Thank you for sending Jesus. And it is written, He who calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. I call upon you, Jesus. Help me to live for you. I surrender my life to you. I turn from my way. I turn to your way. Come and dwell in me, Holy Spirit. Come and dwell in me, Holy Spirit. From this day forward, Jesus. Jesus, I will live for you. I surrender my way to your way. Help me, Lord Jesus, to live for you and to not sin. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. And I ask, Father, right now for everybody who prayed that prayer, who's never prayed that prayer before, who means it with all their heart, that you would give them an almighty desire to read and consume your word, Father. Your word, Father, and me too, Father. I ask for all of us that would want to be renewed, that we would have a new desire to want to read your word, to consume your word, to grow closer to you, Father. I ask in the name of Jesus, the only name I can ask. There's no other man, there's no other person who died for my sins or anyone else's sins. There's no one else that cared enough. Buddha didn't care enough to die for our sins or Muhammad or Confucius. Only Jesus, who was without blemish, without sin, was willing to die on the cross. And Father, help us to live for you in this day and help all these people who have prayed for you, Father, answer their prayers, Father. And I ask that there'll be no pew sitters. There are no pew sitters in God's kingdom. We're going to be back here tonight. I believe it's 7 o'clock. And I ask that everyone here would bring at least one other person, if not five other people. This is the day where you can bring forward people. Because this is a singing evangelist called by the God who's here, not in his almighty in his mighty own power, not to exalt himself, not for people to see him, but that he might bring people to Jesus. Use this evening to bear fruit and share in the fruit. Because if you bring them here and they're saved, you will share in the fruit. Or if someone is backslidden and they come, or someone comes that's re-encouraged to go out and work for Jesus and to love and commit their way into the Lord, you'll share in that fruit, saints. 
So go forth. And Father, I pray in Jesus' name, you'll help them to bear fruit this day. And that everyone will come back here who's here now for tonight's concert. And that, Father, we ask for your anointing and blessing to be on tonight's concert. And that many will come to know Jesus as Lord and Savior. And it's in the name of Jesus that we pray in faith, believing that it is done. This is my song for Jesus. All the glory to you, my Savior. Lift up your voice, praise ye the Lord. Lift up your voice, praise ye the Lord. He has redeemed us. He has set us free. The Lord has redeemed us victoriously. Lift up your hands, praise ye the Lord. Lift up your hands, praise ye the Lord. He is Messiah. Messiah, God's gift of his love, he has redeemed us, the Lord receives us, lift up the Lord, tell all the world, lift Messiah, God's gift from above, Jesus Messiah, God's gift of his love, he has redeemed us, the This is Living Waters. Lord, won't you...